Hello everybody, Betts Golden here. I am going to be making a layout today with the wonderful new Linda's Wisdom kit uh, that Calico Collage created. This is all digital art, so it is incredible. And it is really from the Junk Journal kit, but I thought it would just be a beautiful kit to use with these pictures that I have from uh, the the trip we went on to Flagstaff to go to the toppest point, I believe, in, in Arizona. Uh, and I was terrified, by the way, just so you know, these were like, we had to go up on this and I'm, I'm not a scary, scared person. Uh, it takes a lot to freak me out. And those just scared me, especially when they would stop in the middle of the ride. Yeah, that was scary. But come to find out, they were just helping people on and off the lift. So anyway, that has nothing to do with this, but just useless information for you. So let me show you what I'm going to be using. I found this beautiful ribbon from a scrap pack on sale from the paper studio in Hobby Lobby. And I thought it would match beautifully. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. And then I also have these little ruler pieces that I thought would be cute with this and found this also at Hobby Lobby on sale from Tim Holtz. Buck 75, can't beat that. I have some flowers for my stash that I'm going to be using. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. I also have some beautiful gold glimmer mist from Tattered Angels. And then the pieces, oh, and I'm going to be adhering everything with super tight multi grab glue 360. This can handle everything from like delicate type projects to more heavy duty do it yourself projects around home. And I don't, I would normally run a tape runner, but I, I want to do it quick. So I decided to go ahead and use this multi purpose glue. And I used one of the digital sheets to map my photos. Uh, the photos are two and 0.75. Matte is three and a half inches. So those I use to matte. This is just one full sheet. I love the journey on the bottom of it. The saying right there. So I wanted this to kind of be my title. This is actually a half sheet. The other side looks exactly like it. It's a mirrored image. This is one of the beautiful, I think it's my favorite thing so far that I've played with in the kit is this gorgeous, gorgeous clip art piece. I love it. Then there's a little bingo card. I did my journaling on this little card. I'm going to tuck it all into this pocket. The pocket came like this. I just went ahead and cut it out and then folded it on the creases. And then I have some tickets. So this is what I'm thinking I'm going to make this layout with. I was going to put it on a black cardstock, but I opted for a, a purple one. I found this in my in my stash and I thought, ooh, that's so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this down. Benefit of using glue is that it allows you to move relatively quickly, but you also can position it a little bit. Like with a tape gun, I have to reposition it. So this is a great way to create a layout if you are in a hurry. Then we're going to do this one next. And then I'm going to go ahead and just start to kind of line this up. I want to do my little love card right here in the center with the family right there. Ooh, but I don't want to mess up my dragonfly. He's so pretty. So we'll do that there. And then we'll build the rest around it. I just cannot get over the gorgeousness of this kit. The colors on it are so beautiful. I love that green. Then I want to do this up here. Right, that's us at the top of the hill. So even though it was terrifying, probably the most scary I've ever been on anything, it was totally worth it. Cause when we got to the top of the hill, it was absolutely breathtaking. And now I'm gonna have to pull that down a little bit. So I'm glad I'm using the glue. 
because I can maneuver it around. Oh, I had to cover up my dragonfly. Bummer. But you know what the good thing is? Since this is, um, since this is a digital art, guess what I can do? I can print more. I was trying to move it up, see if that would help, but it doesn't. Oh, well. Okay. All right. I'm probably using more glue than I need. I do get a little bit glue happy. I will admit it. There's this one. And then let's do this one next. Okay. Now I'm doing this upside down, mind you. How crazy is that? Totally upside down to me. I'm very proud of my 17 year old for doing this because it was, oh, it was scary for him too, but he did it. He was having a good time. So that's good. Okay. So now I'm thinking I might want that over there and I might want to put this kind of like that, that there, there we go. Just bringing it on in. Okay. All right. So now we have that done and then I wanted to put at the bottom here, this little pocket. And I'm just gonna run the glue right along the edge, right like so. And I'm gonna put this down here, like this. And this is where I'm gonna hide my journaling piece and whatnot, is going to be right in this pocket. And what I like also about this glue is it kind of rubs right off. It's very cool. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to put the bingo card in first. And then I'm going to put the journaling pocket in. This is my little journal, and I basically said, we rode the, sky, the ski lift up to the top of the mountain in Flagstaff. It was absolutely terrifying. The air was thin, but the views were amazing, 2017. And then, I don't necessarily want people to see that right away, so I'm just gonna put a little tag in over it so it's kind of popping out, and if people wanna read it, they can. And then from there, I don't know if I was going to put this in here like so, or if I was going to put it more up along the top like so. And this, that's kind of cool right there. So we're going to do that. And again, this glue can hold paper and wood. So it's a great multi-purpose glue for a project that you just want to get done fast and you don't have to want to rotate between things. All right, so there's that. And then for the right, and then, so I want this here and then I'll probably do this up on top of it. And should I do the yellow? Yeah, I like the yellow. Just a little bit. I'm just going to dollop in some of those spots. Now, your layout might take a little bit longer than this simply because I am editing the video as I go. And also, I did prep my paper as well as my... Um, I did prep my paper as well as my um, pictures and and I actually had ended up distressing the edges and inking them with a green. So that's what happened with that. Right, I gotta make sure I have belief facing in the right direction since I'm not looking at it. 
then I'm going to put this one on last. Just right down. Actually, I want to trim that off a little bit more. Don't want it that long. For this, I'm just going to run a real thin layer right along the edge. And now let's see where do I want to put my flowers. I can yeah, I can do that there. I like that there. We'll wait and save the black flower for another day. Okay, and then. I think I'll go ahead and just add some of these dewdrops up here. Okay, so I think that this layout is done and ready to go. So anyway, this is the Linda's Wisdom New Digital um, Kit from Calco Collage, the junk journal kit. I think there's 13 sheets. Uh, eight or nine are of these beautiful paper and I have another project coming later this month uh, in which I make a canvas there is an awesome mason jar in this kit that I cannot wait to use it's going to be so cool so I hope you come back and join me for that please look in the description down below for the link to calico collage I mean you can just look it up www.calicocollage.com and then hit in the search bar um, Linda's wisdom and it'll pull up but I love it, love it, love it. I think this might be one of my favorite ones, although I don't know, that peacock one that I did a while ago was fun too. So anyway, until next time, happy crafting. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you go ahead and do so. Bye.